Okay, so I'm Grass Walker. Hello, and welcome to Coming Out Simulator. Now, I'm not super gay, so I'm never gonna get to have this experience of coming out to my parents. Not that it's a good one, I imagine it usually isn't. Um, so I thought it'd be interesting to play this myself, and I figured maybe you guys would enjoy it as well. If you're gonna be super weird about it, just leave now. Let's, just... Let's get into it. A half truth story about half truths. Hey there, player, good to have you. What would you like to do? I know, let's just let's get straight in. Okay, sip the coffee. Jumping right into it, great. No messing around with the about me or the about the game or... Shh, fine, fine, all right, let's time travel. F five years wasn't 2010. Your game's dated right there. Should, should have a uh, current date there. Or well, just let's travel back years ago. Like, why, why include five? You've just dated your own game. How do you think this ends? Uh, apparently with you redditing at Starbucks, flowers, rainbows, gay unicorns. Probably ends in blood. That's how I imagine this usually ends up. Compared to that, I guess this is tragic. Although that's kind of a glass 100's full interpretation. Blah. Anyway, if you didn't skip the section, you would know it was a story. It's personal story. Jesus. This game includes dialogue that I, my parents, my ex-boyfriend actually said, as well as things we could have, should have, and never would have said. It doesn't matter which is which, not anymore. How do you win a game with no right answers? You're a bit of a downer. A true story game is full of lies. That's interesting. Uh, I understand why they did it, but I want to see what they have to say for it. Even if the dialogue was 100% accurate, it'd be 100% lies. Because you, you'd be playing as me. Because you skipped the about me. My not yet legal name is Nikki Case, just so you know. This game ends not in blood, but in tears and lies. Oh, they threw their coffee. Choose your words wisely. Every character remembers everything you say. Yeah, you brought up my main menu choices, exactly. Some things are hard not to remember. <laughs> And when he simply announces, I bought the airline, that was positively priceless. Is that what he said? I missed out when everyone in the theatre was laughing. You either need subtitles or to clear out your ears. How did you interpret the ending? Uh, am I blue in this? Because that's, that's the hairstyle of that guy. I think I'm blue in this. They're really thin and they're really sad. That's... That's not good. They're talking by text, though. You can tell. But they're almost together. It was all a dream. He's got to be back in the real world. It doesn't matter, Cobbs is finally let go. I have no idea what they're talking about. Doesn't really matter, Cobbs let go. Oh. He didn't bother to look. He didn't even bother looking to see if the top fell. Lies, half truths, Cobbs no longer cares. He's finally happy, that's all that matters. You're either being poetic or depressing. I'm a poet and I didn't know it. Oh, yes. Oh, no. You're a lyrical miracle, the evidence is empirical, that's hysterical. Jeez, this is some low quality stuff. My pleasure, Nikki. You should parody Inception in the odd web game of yours, maybe. Let's meet tomorrow. I hope I convinced the parents to let me out. I wish you didn't tell your mum and dad we were just studying. Oh, so they're like classmates. I'll pretend we'll be cramming for the mid <laughs> midterms. Ah. Uh... I wish I could tell them too. It's not my fault I can't tell them, it's not your fault. Oh, it, that's stupid. Eating away at your soul. I came out to my parents and they were supportive. That's not how it works though. How do you know your parents won't be supportive too? Asian parents are usually homophobic. I'm not sure if that's racist or true. <laughs> I don't know, I haven't tried. They don't support anything but studying. Let's say, let's say that. You have trust issues. You're even texting me instead of calling because you think your parents might listen in. They would. This mode of communication, it's imprecise, impersonal, and impossible to truly connect. You're an amateur poet like me. You yourself wish you could tell them, tell them. That's not, that's not how that works. Heck no. I don't want to freak them out too much. I need to convince them to let me stay at your place. I'll tell them I'm studying. 
It's dinner time, I'm going downstairs. Hey, I agree, huh? With the ending of the... With your thoughts on them, it doesn't matter as long as they're happy. This is really fast. Good luck, text me in an hour. See ya. Amateur <laughs> Alright, that went about as badly as it could have, considering that was supposedly me talking to my supposed boyfriend. Where is everybody? Mom? Dad? Anybody. Anybody is the choice here. I like the cat clock. Wait some more. Oh no, I'm ready. <laughs> I would meow back at it. No, 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 no. <laughs> I knew someone was gonna walk in. Ah, oh, I didn't see you. Hey, mom. Hi, sweetie. You could have started without me, and no I need to let your food get cold. Sure. Your father's running late. He'll be joining us in an hour. Cool, let's eat. Nom nom nom. What what are your plans for tomorrow? Uh, studying. Um, yeah, I'm studying tomorrow. Uh, what subject? Was it was it ever hinted that I was studying chemistry? Good. You could really improve your chemistry class grades. So, I'll be at the library tomorrow. Will I see you studying there? Actually, I'm going to study at Jack's again. You spend a lot of time with him. Yeah, that's what good pals do. <laughs> so you're just hanging out. Not... Actually, <laughs> we are studying. Alright, just don't lie to me. <laughs> Ooh, I am, I am lying to you. I like how in common art simulator I'm not even remotely attempting to come out. <laughs> I'm trying to cover it up. Oh, don't hang around him too much. People might get the wrong idea. What do you mean by the wrong idea? Just between mother and son, I think he might be, you know, a gay. He looks and talks like a gay. And you said he's a good pal, so people might think you're a gay like him, too. <sighs> See, this is where you can't win. There's no coming out simulator that prepares you for this. Maybe he's gay. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying those kind of people are bad. I just think you should be careful around one of them. He might, you know, try to recruit you. I don't like any of these options. I should just continue eating. What? How do you even... Never mind. Oh no. What did you say you were trying... Chemistry. 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 You hesitated for a moment. I got it right. Don't you... I wonder if you're studying with Jack at all, or always just hanging out. We study. Your grades in chemistry are terrible. Um, I'm trying. I really am. I'm worried for you. Jack's not a good influence. All he does is poetry. What makes you say that? I'm getting you a home tutor. What? She'll tutor you in chemistry. Her name is Claire. She's smart. Pretty Caucasian, she's your age. Are you trying to match make me with Claire? Well, if that's what you want, I could. No, don't be shy. You're growing up to be a man, and you're gonna give me lots of grandkids. Ooh, bye. Ooh, I don't want kids. Stop it. I haven't even met Claire yet. Yet. She's coming over tomorrow. Get your pants down. I promise, Jack, I ironed your clothes. You'll make a good impression. Claire will be tutoring you every day after school, starting tomorrow. What if I... What if just don't... What if just don't... <laughs> what if just don't study with Claire? Well, if you want to hang out with her, that's... Okay, anything to make you more manly. One more thing, yesterday when you were studying with Jack, I know you secretly went off to watch a movie. 
What makes you think that? I read your text messages. I was in your room before dinner. He, you yelled out hello anybody from downstairs whilst I unlocked your phone. I read what you and Jack have been sending to each other. I'm your mother, I have the right. Jesus. Weird poetry, helping you lie to your own mother. What else have you been doing behind my back? You know what? Fuck you, mum. I hate you. That's okay. I still love you, Nick. Oh, now I feel a little bit bad. It's because your dad's not home, isn't it? Without a strong male role, what have you become confused? <laughs> yeah, because dad's such a great role model. I'm going like full teenage rebellion here. No matter what, he's your father, you should love him. That's not how parenthood works. You don't have, you're not forced to love people. This is my fault. I told you to be careful around those kind of people. Oh, Nick, my poor baby. Oh, I'm going to cry as well. Wow. Is this fake crying or is this real crying? Okay, are we done? Nick, what are you? Excuse me. What are you? I'm your son, damn it. Isn't that enough? Jeez, that's hard. Did you have sex with Jack? I'm not saying. Oh my god, you did. Which one of you is the woman? Oh, come on. That's like asking which chopstick is the spoon. Which one of you? I mean, I don't really know. Like, let's fucking, do I have a coin? No. I mean, I don't know what their relationship is like. Let's say they take turns. <laughs> that that can get three A's. What? Your father will be back soon. The food's cold, except for the spot you reversed on. Your dad's late, he must have been stressful at work. Please, when he's back, promise me you'll keep this secret. Don't tell him about Jack. Don't tell him you lied to us, you could do things with Jack. Don't tell him you and Jack act like women. Okay? As long as you don't tell him either. I won't. Promise me you won't. Father said. Hi, Ka Ying. Hi, Nick. What the fuck? I'm, I'm home. Hi, honey. Sup, Dad. How's your day? Stayed overtime. Hopefully, the boss will notice in my performance review. Really, though, I was just playing web games. Ha 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 ha. Nick, why stop? Why? <laughs> Nick, why aren't your web games any fun? I thought they were fun. Poor Nick. Well, then you have a sick sense of fun, don't you? Yeah, this is less fun. Actually, I'm, I'm enjoying this. What's that sauce on your plate? It's vomit. <laughs> what am I grounded? Oh, I am so I don't cook it. <laughs> no! Oh god, dad, I'm bisexual banging Jack. How's school? School's fine. Really fine? What about your poor grades in chemistry? Nick and I were just talking about that. We were discussing getting a tutor. Ah, it's this Claire's kid. Mom, you said you wouldn't talk about this. Talk about what? I'm the head of this household. You better not be hiding secrets from me. Nick really likes Claire. You got me. I have a crush on Claire. You're becoming a man, son. If I were your age, I'd ditch your mother and chase Claire. That's weird. Talk back, careful, or I'll box your ears. Claire will be torturing Nick every day after school. Nick, how does this sound? Yes or no? He loves the idea. Uh, shut up, Key! I asked my son. Mr. Nicholas Liao. You want to spend all your after hour schools with your hot tutor girlfriend? No pansy middle of the road answers. Yes or no? I don't think I do. I don't think I do. Excuse me. Whoa. Whoa, why'd you bring Jack up? Whoa. Why, why did you bring that was a dumb move? 
That was a dumb move, Mr. Uh, person. Nikki Case, that was a dumb move. Mum hates him, because he's gay. Oh, 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 oh. You made your mother cry. Jack chose that lifestyle. I will not have it be yours, Nick. Ugh, I told him I'm your son. Isn't that enough? Nick, you're changing schools. Oh, 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 oh. Your mo mother and I will do random checks on your texts and emails. I swear if I have to play Claire extra to make you realize you're straight, I will. Oh, gee. Oh, shut up, Key. We're not talking about you. Jesus. Would you like to say anything, anything about all that? <sighs> Fucking hell. I don't know what my guy's situation is. I don't know if he can just run away from home and be alright. I don't know if he's old enough to just leave and move in with Jack. And I don't know how much attachment he has to this family if I can just fuck this fuck you burn the bridges. Sure, I accept the punishment. Good, at least you're taking this like a man. Uh -huh. I'm going out to the bar and getting something edible. Jesus. Honey, you're just cooking your shit. Uh -huh. <laughs> meow, meow. Hey Jack. Hi Nick darling. This Jack is a fucking idiot. A fucking idiot. Absolute dipshit. Shut up Jack. No, you were wrong. Fuck you. They're making me change schools. Why are they doing that? Because Jack and the school are a bad influence. They want us to break up. That's horrible. That's just one of the three things that happened. Nick, I'm sorry. Yeah, it is your fault, dipshit. Oh, no, no, it's not his fault. <laughs> it's his fault it happened. Because he instigated the thing and the text of that. But it's not his fault. The circumstance, it's their fault for being dumb parents. It's sort of a... They're, they're, the, they're the bad fault. It's other people's fault, but it's good fault. Talking with my parents, it's like that mode of communication. Oh, the thing that he said before. What now? I'm getting out of this house. Not running away. Although if I did, I could crash in your place. But anyway, we can get internship or scholarship in the United States and get far away from these people. No, I mean, what now between us, Jack? What, what happens? What now? What happens? We have to break up. No way, do they? Jack's the only thing. That, I don't know. It's late. There's a lot I need to sleep on. Okay. I love you, Nikki. No, don't tell him you love him too. Oh, don't bring up the amateur poet thing. And then we broke up three days later. <laughs> Told you, not blood, but tears. I can't say I didn't see that coming. The Jack guy was an asshole. Jack and I saw it coming too. I feel gross using the same coloured dialogue balloons as the father character, which reminds me. Many of the characters have been swapped and names have been changed except for mine. I left my brother out entirely, and I put my father back in, even though he left the family long before. So they just improvised the dad's thing, even though he was, wasn't even there on that night. Let me guess, it gets better, trademark. Yes! In all versions. Which post coming out story do you wanna hear? I'll get I'll hear you'll hear all of them. Let's give me the truth. That's the one I care about. Here it goes. I took Jazz's advice, parodied Inception in my old web game, Reimagine. I still think it didn't matter if Cobbs was dreaming, reimagined the game, got internet famous. A few months later I landed an internship with electronic arts in the Bay Area Bay Area. You, EA. 
Bay Area likes the gays. I love EA, they make The Sims right, you. EA. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm now repenting for my sins by making artsy fartsy indie games. Repent harder! After EA, I went on to go indie, but I stayed in touch with my friends at EA and stayed in the Bay Area. My technical skills grew. My social skills grew. And yeah. <laughs> but seriously, you electronic hunts. Now what? Just give me the ball. Let's go. Ran away from home with nothing more than luggage, bag of edible underwear. I roamed the great white north, supporting myself by writing amateur poetry. I ate flowers, followed the rainbows, rainbows, and befriended a unicorn. I made it to Alaska, where I met a couple named Bonnie and Clyde. They were a cougar and a mantha. Mantha. A fagua. They took me in as their foster child, so I was their full-time boy toy. Jesus. They raised me, showed me love, and I grew up to be a <laughs> mantha. They were my new family with benefits. Alright, let's let's have the half truth. I only cared about the truth anyway. Why, why is the other shit? Why was it clickable? Claire was also by. We told each other during chemistry. Claire was insecure about her sexual orientation. We were, we were inexperienced. Claire's only been with women, I've only been with Jack. So... You taught each other the other stuff. And exchange tips! Like a come hither motion of rub your head against the roof of the mouth. Too much information. I did move to her school in the end. We were best friends, we still are. We're now both in the US. But that's all bullshit, why am I reading this? Proud bisexual sluts. What a touching story, I think. And a wingman wing woman for each other. Just fucking threw those coffees. You went straight for the truth first. What does that say about you? When a game gives you more blindings, they don't give you them all at once. You thought these were endings. How long is the game? Don't worry, your next choice is the last one, I swear. If I could go back and relive all my choices, which in a sense I did by rewinding this game, I wouldn't change a thing. My text getting rogue, being forced to change schools, all the verbal abuse, I'm grateful for it all. <laughs> what? Yes, really. I would have never been more motivated to forge my own life if my other life wasn't so shit. In 2010, Dan Savage launched a It's Gets Better campaign. And all of my stories, they're true about one thing, that it gets better. And at the end of this long and stupid, painful game, where I played against people that should have been on my side, I won. I won. Is that it? That looks like it's it. All right, that was coming out simulator. That was weird to say the least. Uh, <laughs> I found it really interesting to play because I sort of had subconsciously picked uh, all of the options as I saw them and read them and sort of evaluated what they would mean to say and trying to play the context and figure out the situation. I, I mean, I don't think there's any way to win that game. I find it weird that he wrote this game to have nothing but like bad 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 and then like oh it gets better but I feel like no matter how many avenues you took there's no way to win this coming out game but he's created this father figure that wasn't even in his life just to put him in there to hate on the mum and himself I don't understand that victimization of himself because the dad wasn't there so in the coming out simulator why why is he there like being a total asshole I get that some people's parents are both like that and it's actually that bad, but for this guy's experience, that wasn't it. So I haven't simulated his coming out, I've simulated a worse version of what he thinks his coming out could have been if everything went super to shit. So I don't like that aspect of it, I feel like I would have preferred if he just stuck to the truth and like anonymized it. Sure, cut out the little brother, who cares, but like... If they've changed their name and all the characters are anonymous anyway and it's just a small indie game, does it really matter if the true story's out there? There are 7 billion people on this planet and 
a whole fucking load of them are going to be gay people and they're all going to have their own coming out story nobody's going to be able to identify you by a story that only you your parents and your little brother knows about that's I, I get like the anonymous stuff but I don't know I just feel like why did he change it to be worse than it should have been almost maybe to just show that like hey even in this awful worst case scenario as a gay person like might be playing this game or something no matter what it gets better even in this awful thing where everything you say is bullshit I like that aspect that no matter what I said it all just ended to shit some stuff like it's coming out simulator I spent the entire time trying to fucking hide it but if you just came out we just would have sped it up to the same fucking thing earlier the mum throwing up in the food would have just came up earlier I liked some of the touches, I really liked some of the humour, the amateur poet stuff, the meowing at the clock, I, I would fucking meow at a clock if it meowed at me. I don't know, I really enjoyed that. What did you guys think? Are any of you people in the comments gay as shit, or bi as shit, and have you ever come out to people? What was your story like? G give me some pro tips for when I totally come out to my parents. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me on this video, I hope you found it interesting, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!